Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Valagar Alavane. All right, so we're back here in the Thieves Guild uh, to do some more missions. So we, had, our last one, we attended the wedding, found out that uh, Kosh was Nikolaus. Our guild master got captured in the process, and yeah. Had the feeling you'd stop by. Did you know Silver Claw was looking for you? Something urgent, he said. That oily fat cat tried to bribe me with a fine wine to keep an eye out for you. Of course I took his bribe. Why do you think we're talking? So to meet him in the den quick as you can. All right. Prison break. So I'm assuming we're breaking our guild leader out of a prison. Silver Claw, stop pacing. You'll wear a rut in the floor. Oh, it helps me think. Now, where is the Guildmaster? Or acting Guildmaster? Or whatever you call it. Look who's here. Your long wait is over. I have good news, my <coughs> friend. Chief Inspector Van Beek and the Iron Wheel will soon depart Hughes Bane. And the bad news, Zira will be sent to Tavith, where she will stand trial for raiding Aldenobia tomb. Oh boy. Somewhere in Noshira Citadel, the Iron Wheel's preparations to depart causes much distraction. There is no better time to slip among their ranks. But I am not a part of your guild. You would know best what to do, of course. You know where Zira is? Are we going to rescue her? What do you mean, we? I'm retired. Zira would do the same for any of us. Even you, Velsa. The least we can do is hear out our acting guildmaster. So, what is the plan? Ah, uh, crap. <clears throat> if we're going to know Shira Citadel, I can help. The Iron Wheel can always spot imposters. It's not the uniform. It's the mannerisms and protocol they follow. It's all part of their training. They cycle their soldiers between locations every few months. Keeps them from forming attachments with the locals. They see new faces all the time, so they're trained to spot certain mannerisms. Ones I've learned to spot as well. And impersonate. I just need a uniform. They change those too. Small details here and there. We need one that can accommodate my tail. Oh, and bring the journal we used in Aldenobia tomb. I have an idea, but until we know our entry point, I don't want to share. All right. I know it won't be easy to recover Zira, but I'm ready for this. Just say the word. Lots of crumbling walls. I can scout the best approach. See if the Iron Wheel leaves anything less defended. They won't notice me. No one ever looks up. Let me see your map. This place, just outside Moshira Citadel? I'll meet you there when I've found a way inside. See you there, partner? Alright. I know that look. That's your tell Velsa to do something look. Why do none of you believe I'm retired? I could say it slowly. Retired. Did it stick this time? I only traveled to Aldenobia tomb because I had history with the people who died there. But poking around the Iron Wheel's headquarters? Lunacy. I need a phenomenal reason to risk my life for Zira's. You've already proven you're tolerably competent. All right, I'll do it. But you owe me a big favor, and I will call it in. Oh, uh, crap. I'm going to smash some stink apples at the front gate to draw the Iron Wheel there. The distraction will make it easier for you to get in elsewhere. What? Your temporary Zira. You think I ever let her tell me what to do? Yeah, that's fair. All right. I'm glad I didn't have to arrange anybody. Like, you do this job, you do that job. They kind of just. It's told me what cost. job they're gonna do.
this also seems like it's going to be towards the end of their missions. Like, we kind of took down the big bad boss, which was Nikolaus. We just got to finalize that by, I'm assuming, planting the papers that we just took, showing his guilt, and rescuing our uh, guild leader there. Not too far from the waypoint. I can save myself a little bit of time. All right. Let's see what we can. What trouble we. Can get ourselves into. Of course, I see her right as I jumped. Scouting successful. The Iron Wheel doesn't send patrols beyond the walls anymore. They're too busy preparing to leave. And there's some sort of commotion at the main gate. Seems they've pulled a few soldiers there to deal with it. A gap in the wall not far from here. There's a lone sentry. I already told Rock softly. He's waiting for you near the gap. All right. I'll head back to the wall. So we got a broken bit of wall. A couple of gators right there. But yeah, so we got a broken bit of wall. Velsa's creating her distraction. He keeps looking through the gate, rubbing his lips, waiting for one of his... We walk up. I present myself as a drunk, dapper Argonian. He challenges us, tells us to move along, then sees the bottle in my hand. I offer him a take. Try to look non-threatening. My oh. good man! Is this the gate to Bar's Landing? Halt! The Citadel is under jurisdiction of the Iron Wheel. Huh. Never heard of that tavern. What do they sell? You should move along. What, um, that bottle you have? What is that? Delicious. Some wine from, uh, Burga. Burga, Burga Mat. Burgama. Why, you want some? If you're offering, just a nip to get my blood pumping. Tava's tail feathers, it's awful! Ugh. What, uh, what is that, that taste? <sighs> 
something to which I'm immune. But he's right. It does taste awful. <laughs> Well, that's one way to get in. My distractions worked as expected. I'll stick to the shadows for now. All right. Here we part ways. Once I'm in uniform, I'll see how well I blend in. If I may suggest a course of action, the journal you brought contains the entire dowry heist as planned by Nicholas. Chief Inspector Ron Beek has an office in the ruins where he entertains guests. If you were to leave the journal for him to find, there is little chance Nicholas could weasel out of the trial he faces in Tanith. Oh, and you could find out where they're holding Zira. Good luck. Don't get caught. If you do, we'll have to spring two guildmasters. Shameful times for the Thieves' Guild. You go ahead. Yeah, that, I'll abscond that's with fair. our sentry friend's uniform. Maybe All right. Trim it down. He was a rather brawny fellow. So we got to sneak our way in. Beetles there, beetles there, Iron Legion there. I'll try my luck going through the beetles here. many games lately that uh, not entirely used to the controls. <laughs> Guy with the torch, he runs around.
Looks like I gotta get up that way. Way to sneak in here. Charging battery. that jumping in here.
I have no quarrel with you. My dowry is safely returned to Aldenobia tomb, as are the remains of my ancestor. Those responsible are in custody. Yet I am not entirely satisfied with the outcome. That's my fair. former fiance Kosh, that is Nikolas, has been very cooperative with the Iron. He claims he was duped, that stealing my dowry was Zira's plan all along. Zira has said nothing. Zira's price to surrender was the safety of those she brought along to the wedding. You and your strange little friend. Almost honorable in her own way. Nikolas lies. I know that now. But Chief Inspector Ron Beek has no evidence to the contrary. The town criers in Teneth already proclaim her trial. Politics as they are, I cannot simply release her. But I can tell you where she is. And I can offer a lucrative proposal to your entire organization. To her directly, once you free her. Sounds like Good. Plan. Zira is held in the prisons beneath us, but you must hurry. Chief Inspector Ron Beek plans to move her to where I do not know. I'll escort you to the prison door. If you stay by my side, the Iron Wheel shall cause you no harm. Are you ready? Yep. Remember, don't leave my side or the Iron Wheel will think you're an intruder. Which, by all accounts, you are. Oh, trust me, I don't plan on leaving your side. I hate how they got different speeds, though. Like, even my sneaking speed is faster. Almost there. Once you're inside the prison, you're on your own. there unlock the door and allow my companion entry to the prison do not record this in the log as you command you there follow me could all walk softly you know I could have just walked into this door in the first place it would have been easier to get into uniforms aren't made for Argonian heads. I'd be sweating if... Well, if I could sweat. You go after Zira. I'll wait for the others and escort them through. Unsettling. New blueprint. Just waiting for those skellies to all just get up and start attacking.
So it backwards. Does look like someone's been through here. Some, uh, deconstruction material. Definitely doesn't look like this prison cell is used that often. And who might you be? Oh, Nicholas. You certainly don't belong. Who are you and why are you here? Straight to the point. Very good. I know where Chief Inspector Ron Beek took Zira. I'm willing to tell you. My only price is a single lockpick. I didn't ask you to free me. A single lockpick, from one thief to another. A tradition Zira began, which means bad luck for her should you break it. Ah, but we have company. And they seem ambivalent to the idea. Ah, walk softly. So good to see you again. How have you been? Hunted. Missing too many dead friends. And Velsa as well. I thought you'd retired. And I thought you were dead. Seems we were both disappointed. And who are you? I don't believe we've met. I'm someone who knows better than to listen to your lies. All right. I've never met Nicolas before. As far as I'm concerned, I never want to see him again. Absolutely not. We can't know if he's lying, and we shouldn't risk him getting free. His help is the kind we don't need. And I overheard that transfer orders are stored in the warden's office. If we find nothing there, we trade him the lockpick. Do you want Nicholas to in a cell. Somehow, it feels right. Nicholas could never pick a lock. Unless he learned since the dowry heist. A lockpick would be nothing more than a thin sliver of hope. Which you could deny him. Is his hopelessness worth Zira's potential imprisonment? That's up to you. Nicholas wasn't lying. I figured out all of his tells long ago. He knows where they have Zira, which means the acting guildmaster has a decision to make about a lockpick. If Chief Inspector Ron Big personally moves Zira, we have very little time. A single lockpick won't do us any harm, and it gets us what we need. And I'll know if he's lying. So yes, toss one his way. Aim for the eye. Uh. Mm, nice, Gwen. Also. Well, <sighs> good, good. Always commit fully, even when your heart brims with doubt. Now, the lockpick? Yeah. Head through the prison and look for the docks. Should you hurry, the ship bearing Zira in its hold will still be present. Here you are. Worst of luck to you. 
We had best hurry. The ship may sail when it's tied. Ow. So it does make it easier being up here. Plus an extra chest, okay. Yeah, I was really torn on whether or not to actually give him the lockpick, especially after he gave us the information. We could have just like, said goodbye and just left him, but. say honor amongst these but uh, he lost that privilege when he turned on his fellows but my character though a thief is a man of his word
the key. Potential witnesses here. be charged with desecrating Aldenovia tomb, a capital offense. Cooperate, and I'll argue leniency. Fancy looking cups. Check. Take that. And this guy. What do you want? The thief from Fulstrom Homestead, wasn't it? Why are you here? So you say to an unarmed man, you seem to have the upper hand, for the moment. This won't stop, the iron wheel shall not stop, until there is a trial. Desecrating a family tomb, every noble in Tanith wants to see justice serve. Oh no. You mean Kosh? He insists he was duped by the Thieves' Guild. His story doesn't completely add up. But Zira has not spoken since her arrival. Without proof, his story is the most convincing. Dolrias, you name your crimes? I once gave you a chance to surrender. Instead, you attacked my men and fled with a valuable relic. I'm not inclined to take you at your word. Ooh, came back to bite us in the butt. Chief Inspector Rambi. The other thief. Surrender, all of you. The Iron Wheel is relentless. We serve a higher calling than gold or riches. And thud. What? You seem the type to talk all day. Zira, you aren't the only prisoner we freed. We need to keep moving. We'll talk back at the den. Yes, yes, a charming reunion. Open the cage so we can go. I almost said something pithy, like, you're late, or about time. But really, I'm glad to see every one of you. Even Velsa. Better now that I'm out of that cell. I can't wait to return to the den. After we've taken care of some business. Thieves' Guild business. The Iron Wheel thought to save themselves another trip to Tanith. They loaded this ship with contraband. But we are going to steal it. We're going to take everything they squeezed from Abba's Landing. Everyone, listen up. Quen, good work freeing the prisoners. There are a few more on this ship. Break them out and send them topside. Yes, ma'am. Good. We'll need them to strip this vessel in the docks of whatever they can carry. Belsa. Don't bark orders at me. 
I'll set traps near the prison door. Slow down any iron wheel come to check on the ship. Good thinking, Velsa. Everyone, be quick about your work. Don't linger or we'll end up back in a cell. Once you have all you can carry, grab a boat and row hard for Abba's landing. Let's go! I don't really have much in here for me to steal. Well, I guess that's it from this room. Might I say, you are the most magnificent Magnifica I've ever met. You elevate the cesspit of Abba's landing with your very presence. Who are you again? Apologies, Magnifica. We have much to discuss when timing is more convenient for us both. Assuming that's the rowboat there. Yep. I'm sad that there was less, not too much for us to loot. Just freed Nikolaus. But I guess we're about to see. Because if the people of Tanith want their. What I'm thinking is when they said the people of Tanith want to make sure that they get their justice. And we're freeing the one person that they had for sure. What do you want? I'm thinking that uh, Nikolaus escapes. So this is kind of an interesting video, interesting quest there. Let's see how it uh, <laughs> just sit on the table. So, eh, yeah, nothing's going, nothing's going on. All right, I'll admit it. You may provisionally, mind you, be somewhat competent, but don't let it go to your head. <laughs> 
The guild has given me so much. It's time to return the favor. It's so good to see Zira again. During the crisis, I worked behind the scenes to keep Abba's landing from falling apart in the guild's absence. Oh, I wanted to be here to help, but I had responsibilities. Look at everything Zira has accomplished. She certainly did a great job. We'll continue to rebuild, finish getting our own house in order. I have nothing but admiration and respect for our beloved guildmaster. Indeed, I can't wait to see what she has planned for us next. The anticipation has me on the edge of my seat. My experiences from my days as a pirate and smuggler make me invaluable to the guild. I have contacts, friends in distant ports, and more than enough advice to pass along. When it comes to planning an organization, just call on the captain. I had a beautiful ship once. It was fast, nimble, but the summer storms that blow up along the Abishan coast were too powerful for my poor swift lightning. Sank to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Still waters. Who knew? I'll let you in on a little secret. Terror can be a strong motivational force than either admiration or respect. That's why I foster this grim, dark attitude. Deep down, though, I'm a lovable mud crab. <laughs> Never leap into water when you don't know the depth. I wasn't here, but I wasn't cowering like a newt just free of a shell. There were things that needed doing. Now they are done. All to the benefit of the guild. The guild has reclaimed its position of power in Abba's landing. Our new arrangement with Tanith might even make us more powerful in the long run. It all depends on how the wind blows, and if the merchant lords don't cause us too many difficulties. Do I? I suppose that I do. It was earned with the blood and entrails of others, though, I assure you. <laughs> You're too easy to fool. I do enjoy making the new recruits tremble. <laughs> I like him. Until I spent time in a cell, I didn't realize how much this place had grown on me. It's good to be back. But it's better to have robbed the Iron Will of their dignity, our guildmates, and a dockload of ill-gotten goods. With what? They can't look to Magnifica Flora for help. She hired the Iron Wheel to recover her dowry. When they did, she stopped funding them. After what we took from the Iron Wheel, they'll barely have enough to ship Nicholas to Tanith. What they'd plan to do with me, they'll put him on trial. A show trial because the people want revenge. When he's convicted, well, I hear the guillotine is popular in Tanith. But Nicholas is the past. I'm interested in the future. Never waste an opportunity. Huh. Nicholas used to say that. Well then, let's see what Tanith nobles think oh, lucrative wow. means. That'll be nice. <laughs> as for the rest of you, I'm naming you as part of my Thieves' Council. I'll need those I can trust in the coming months. Yes, even Velsa. Counselor Emeritus. Suits you. This calls for a drink. Or five. Where's Andari? Huzzah! Meaningless titles. Don't be so... you. Cool. Well, that My was... apologies for interrupting. Your Lord Thrag escorted me here. Magnifica Falora requests Zira call upon her at the earliest convenience. I'll have to celebrate later. Opportunity waits for none of us, whatever title we have. What would you have us do? Stare at one another until your return? What does it matter to you? Aren't you retired? Semi-retired. And what would you suggest? Old hands and sing songs? Hardly. The only tune you know is grating. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm starting to like you. Alright, well, that was fun. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one, all.